Iran. Today we're making butternut squash soup. We need six cups of butternut that's been roasted. I'm gonna show you how. Six cups of chicken stock, three tablespoons butter, one tablespoon salt, two cups of heavy whipping cream, and one and a half cups of onion, celery, and carrots. And if you don't have homemade chicken stock, doesn't matter, you can use the canned variety. So let's get cooking. So you gotta cut your butternut. It is tough. You gotta get your strongest, most heavy duty knife and you really put your elbow grease into it. What you wanna do is get the seeds out of it. So use your big spoon with like the most sharp edge. I like to olive oil it. When you put it flat down in your baking sheet, when I take it off later, it's not gonna stick and that's good. So into the oven it goes. Now I'm gonna leave that in there for an hour and 20 minutes. It is beautifully roasted. So what you wanna do is use a spatula to pull it up. That is a harvest dish. What I'm gonna do is take all of this out and put it in a bowl. You get all the way to the edges of the skin. Right now is the perfect time to get the squash out of that skin because it's as soft as it's gonna be. If you were to put this into your refrigerator to work on it tomorrow, it's going to be kind of gelatinous and hard, and it's not going to work, with, work as easy as it's working right now. We did a good job with those. Next, here we have two large butternut squashes, six cups of squash for our soup. First thing I want to do is melt my butter. I do not want my butter to brown, so I turn it on low to get it ready. Three tablespoons of butter into the pan. I twirl my carrot like a little ballerina. That makes it go fast. Time to cut the onion. I cut off the ends. I cut down the center. I peel it. Now for this recipe, you can do a rough chop because what's happening is we're gonna sweat these vegetables, but they all hit the blender. So I just kind of do it so they evenly cook. It's really, really easy. That butter is just melted. No browning on it, which is what I want because that would change the flavor. Now that there's an ingredient in that pot, I can crank that thing to high to hurry up with the sweat routine. So that's good. I'm gonna save time by chopping these really fast and in big hunks. It doesn't matter so much. I just want them to evenly cook. Mission accomplished. Same routine, just big chunks. Doesn't matter, the blender is gonna do the rest. And I'm just trying to get the equal amounts of these, but a little more, a little less, you're fine. Now I'm gonna stir those vegetables. Now that's gonna take maybe 10 minutes to really cook. Remember, I'm keeping that on a high and I'll keep coming back and giving it a little swig. I don't really necessarily want it to be too brown. If it gets some brown color, that's great because it adds a little caramelization. It's not gonna hurt your dish. So now it's time to use our blender to blend our squash with chicken stock. Now, if you don't have chicken stock, homemade like I do, you can use some out of a can or you can use the cubes or granules to make it. Me, I am so thrifty. If I have an old chicken in the house, I stick it in a pot of water with a couple of bay leaves and I let it boil. And that becomes this. It also is very gelatinous. Let me show you. Look at that. And that is all the goodness from the chicken. And that was basically free. So I like that. We put in three cups of roasted squash and two cups of broth and just blend it. If your blender doesn't get it all down the bottom, you go like this. You just stir it up. That's what it should look like. Beautiful and smooth. So I've done my job, we're good. This now is gonna go into a bowl that I'm gonna add into my soup later. So back on it goes, we're gonna do it again. It has been about four minutes since I started this process. At this point, I'm gonna turn it down to medium. I don't wanna take a chance that they get burned while I'm doing my blending routine. Blend. All right, our last batch, we're gonna pour that in. I am so happy with that. Okay, back over to the stove. Let's check on those vegetables. Oh, they are sweating so nice, yay. I'm gonna add now two cups of water to finish cooking them in that pot. And here it goes. I'm gonna stir that around and I want them to boil and cook them through and through as soft as that squash was. So here we go, crank it up. 
So at this point, I want to add my salt to this because the salt will dissolve evenly in the little rich broth we're making with those vegetables. It is two and a half tablespoons full of salt. Okay, now we're gonna let this sit for 15 minutes on a boil. I'm gonna turn this up to high, but then when it boils, I'm gonna turn it down to medium. They are very soft. So we're gonna put it in the blender. This is really hot though. I fill the blender up maybe a third of the way and I'm gonna add some water to it. One scoop of cold water, blend it. So that's gonna go into our butternut squash puree. I wanna get everything. If I were to see some lumps in there, I would blend it longer. In here we have our squash, we have our vegetable puree all mixed together. All right, I need to heat this up to serving temperature. So it's gonna take about 10 minutes on medium. This soup is piping hot now. It's time to add the heavy whipping cream. Here we go for those two cups. So let's dish up a bowl. Mm -hmm. It is delicious. Now, if you're vegan, you don't have to add chicken broth and you don't have to add that cream. You can just use water. This is extra thick. Look at that thickness here. It's great on a really cold autumn night. Mmm, bon appetit.